I welcome you my YouTube channel here to the best mechanical engineering. In this video, I teach you the multi-stage compression weight flash chamber. This system is used in the vapor compression refrigeration systems. In this video, I teach you the schematic diagram, how to do schematic diagrams, how to draw pH diagram by one by one process, and how to find out equation of COP. Multi-stage means in this system, two compressor is used and one flash chamber is used okay what is the function of flash chamber or this flash chamber is also known as the flash gas removals so i explain you in details what's the function why its function is why this component is used okay so in this system there is a two compressor is there one condenser flash chamber and evaporators okay now in this system i start to exportations from the condenser the black to move to the systems now i subscribe my channel for watching more technical videos now this is the condenser in the condenser the vapor refrigerant superheated vapor refrigerant coming out from the compressor tube or it is also known as the high pressure compressors okay and the in the condenser the process 4 to 5 is takes place and in the condenser the isobaric heat rejection process is takes place so at the point number 4 that is a high pressure refrigerant in the vapor state and after the cooling in the condenser the refrigerant outlet at the point 5 is at the high pressure and in the liquid state because in the condenser there is a no change in the pressure it is a one type of heat exchanger it exchanges the heat with the atmospheric air or water we use for the cooling purpose okay so at the constant pressure we removing the heat okay so we throwing this process on the ps diagram on the y axis pressure on the x axis enthalpy this is the saturation curve and at the upper point of saturation curve it is a critical point from this left side it is a liquid line saturated liquid line from the right side this line is saturated vapor line so point number 4 is coming at the superheated vapor and the pressure is high so point number 4 is coming in the this region of the superheated vapor okay this line is saturated vapor so from right side of the saturated curve it is the vapor is superheated vapor regions and the high pressure means line is coming into the upper side so point number 4 is drawing here and point number 5 is come at the high pressure but in the liquid line so point number 5 is come on this line and high pressure pressure is same so we are drawing the horizontal line from the point number 4 so 4 to 5 drawing the horizontal lines and the 4 is vapor point, 5 is under liquid points. Then after this liquid refrigerant at the high pressure is supplied to the expansion valve. Okay, this is the expansion valve. In this expansion valve, the pressure is reduced from condenser pressure to the intermediate pressure. Okay, now this is a flash chamber and function of the flash chamber is to separate the liquid and vapor coming out from the expansion device okay so this flash chamber is installed between the expansion device and the evaporators and it separates the liquid and vapor so from this condenser it is supplied in expansion device and this is the 5 to 6 process it is a isenthalpic process so we are drawing the vertical line because on the x axis it is the enthalpy so h5 and h6 are same so 5 to 6 drawing vertical line on upper direction or downward we are drawing downward direction because we know in the expansion valve we reduce the pressure so 5 to 6 line is coming into the vertical and downward direction because isenthalpic expansion process when the expansion is takes place the pressure is reduced from high pressure to the intermediate pressure it is the point number 6 then after so at the point number 6 what happened so on the pH diagram we check that at the point number 6 there is a liquid is present and also vapor is present okay so this is the liquid line this is the vapor line and point 6 is come between the liquid and vapor so here so some quantity of liquid is there and some quantity of vapor is there now what happen if we supplied the vapor in the evaporators so vapor have a less ability to absorb the heat because it's all healthy in the vapor states liquid have a more ability to absorb the heat so we are trying to supplying only liquid 
into the evaporator so when we supplied only the liquid particles in the evaporator it increased the refrigerating effect of the systems so by increasing this refrigerating effect we increased the cop of the systems okay so this is the function of flash chamber so at the point 6 it is a liquid and vapor board is available so we putting the one flash chamber here so what happened in flash chamber so this liquid plus vapor supplied in this container or the vessels so vapor is moving in upper directions and the liquid is coming in these uh, lower regions okay so vapor is moving into the upper parts of this flash chamber and this vapor is supplied it between the two compressor at the point number seven so similarly this process is drawn onto the ph diagram so at the point six liquid plus vapor is there so whatever this vapor is supplied it here between the two compressors so its line is moving right sides because this is the vapor line okay so it is supplied it onto the vapor line it is a six to seven process now whatever is liquid presents into the flash chambers it is supplied it into the another expansion device okay it is a point number eight so from this point number six what amount of the liquid it is supplied it on the saturated liquid line it is a point eight then process 8 to 9 that is takes place into the expansion device here again we reduce the pressure because evaporator it is a low pressure okay so in 8 to 9 the pressure is reduced from intermediate pressure that is available in the flash chamber to the pressure into the evaporators so 8 to 9 it is isenthalpic process isenthalpic process means enthalpy is constant and pressure is reduced so again line is drawing the vertical and downward direction so it is the 8 to 9 process now next is 9 to 10 so in this evaporator mass of refrigerant available is the m1 so m1 quantity of the mass is circulated in the evaporators and 9 to 10 9 to 1 process is takes place into the evaporators so evaporator is also one type of heat exchanger. it absorbs the heat from the space where we require to do the cooling okay so this refrigerant absorbs the heat from the space so it's uh, at the constant temperatures they absorb the heat and it's changed the phase so at the point number nine there is the liquid and vapor is there but they are absorbing the heat so it start to changing its phase and it is come into the saturated vapor phase so point number one is come on this saturated vapor line because the absorption of the heat it's converted into the vapor phase so it is the point number one so point number one is the low pressure vapor refrigerants okay then it is supplied into the compressor one it is known as the low pressure compressor in the low pressure compressor process takes place one to two it is known as the isentropic compression process so pressure is increased from low pressure so this is one point is low pressure and two point is the intermediate pressure so pressure is increased up to the intermediate pressures isentropic compression so we drawing down the ph diagram one to two line isentropic means constant entropy constant entropy line is drawn as the curve line on the ph diagram if you are not know the basic of the basic lines on the ph diagram then watch my video on the ph diagram okay that's video show you the different different lines how this line is drawn okay that is explained with the reasons so you are better to understand that so from point one to two we are drawing follow the constant entropy line that is already available on the ph charts the pressure is increased up to intermediate so it is a intermediate pressure line so point two is come on this intermediate pressures now here the two vapor is coming okay in the compressor two we are supplying the two vapor one vapor is coming out from the flash chamber and another vapor that is coming out from the low pressure compressor so here what happened we need to put one mixing chamber in that mixing chamber this two air is mixed that is have the mass m1 that is coming out from the compressor and the mass m3 that is coming out from the flash chamber okay so point number three that is point number three means point at the compressor inlet that is come between the point two and seven at the which side it's come exactly so it is find out by using the energy balance so what we do we are doing the energy balance at the mixing here 
so when we doing the mixing so at the after the mixing mass of refrigerant is available is m2 okay so we are drawing that from outlet of the compressor that is a mass m1 0.2 so here we did the h2 from the flash chamber mass coming is m3 0.7 so it is a h7 so it is the two inlet at the mixing chambers and one outlet that is supplied to the compressor and it is the mass m2 that is the mass m2 is supplied to the compressor and 0.3 so it is the h3 so when we writing the energy balance what happen we writing the inlet and outlet so on the right sides here we writing the outlet that is only one outlet that is m2 into h3 equal to the two inlet that is m1 into h2 plus m1 in m1 in sorry m3 into h7 okay so by using these equations we are able to find out the mass m2 and 0.3 so point number 3 is come between this point 2 and 7 due to the mixing so we get the point number 3 here then it is supplied into the high pressure compressor in this high pressure compressor the pressure is increased from intermediate pressure to the high pressure or from condenser pressure so it is the 3 to 4 process during this process it is isentropic compression and the mass in the high pressure compressor is the m2 so from the point 3 we draw the or we follow the constant entropy line that already available on the ph diagram up to the high pressure so we drawing for 3 to 4 Okay, so this is the basic schematics and pH diagram. Next, we derive the equation of work done, energy balance of the flash chambers and refrigerating effect, and finding out the mass M two, M one, M three. Okay, so I using this diagram for better understanding. So first, mass present in evaporators that is M one means how amount of the mass. is circulated in the evaporators so when you solve the examples that the refrigerating effect is given so we writing the refrigerating effect is equal to so refrigerating effect or the cooling is produced in the evaporator so from this evaporator we are able to writing these equations so in the evaporator what is the mass there is m1 so refrigerating effect is one type of the heat transfer heat transfer q is equal to mcp delta t okay so cp delta t is equal to change in the enthalpy so this basic equation is use q is equal to mcp delta t so cp delta t is converted in the form of enthalpy so at the outlet of the evaporators the enthalpy is h1 and at the inlet of the evaporator point number 9 so it is h9 from these equations we find out the m1 then mass flow rate in the compressor 2 and it's equal to M two is equal to M one plus M three, so M one is mass coming out from compressor one. M three is the mass coming out from the flash chambers. Okay, so it is a summation of the two things. Now next we find out the mass of vapor refrigerant form in the flash chamber. So mass of vapor refrigerant form in the flash chamber it is denoted as the M three and it is find out by using the energy balance in the flash chamber. So it is the flash chamber. Now in the flash chamber there is only one inlet and the two outlet. This is the one inlet, this one is outlet, and this is one also outlet. So we show the inlet first. That the inlet mass is what it is M two, and point number six. So we write down at six. Now here it is liquid plus vapor. Vapor is supplied in upper directions between the two compressor, and liquid is supplied into the next expansion device. So outlet. vapor outlet is mass m3 and the enthalpy is h7 because point is 7 then another outlet that is liquid it is mass m1 and the point 8 so it is a h8 so we are writing the energy at inlet equal to energy at outlet that is a one inlet only so it is inlet is m2 into h6 two outlet m3 into h7 plus m1 into h8 from these equations we are finding the value of m2 okay so here we putting sorry we finding the value of m3 okay so instead of m2 we putting m1 plus m3 okay here so m1 plus m3 m1 we already find out 
and also knowing the all enthalpy that is find out from the pH diagram so we are able to find out the M2 and M3 from these equations then we need to find out point number 3 so from now finding out the enthalpy at the point number 3 we try to put point number 3 on the pH diagram so it is find out the by doing the energy balance here because here two inlet and one outlet okay so we are doing also mass balance at uh, between the two compressor so one inlet coming from flash chamber that is a mass m3 and point h7 another inlet coming out from compressor one that is m1 into h2 these two vapor refrigerant is mixed and it is supplied into the second compressor so it is a m2 into h3 so that is one outlet m2 into h3 is equal to m1 into h2 plus m3 into h7 so from this equation we are find out the value of h3 and by using this value of h3 we putting on the ph charts here we study that so i show you again so suppose h3 value is coming 1400 so we reading the here property 1400 putting the point number 3 between the 2 and 7 and after this 1400 we follow the constant entropy lines then we get the h4 so h3 and h4 is find out from the equation when without point 3 we are not able to find out the h4 so h3 is calculated by using these equations and the whatever answer we getting it is putting on the ph diagram then following the constant entropy line and we get the h4 okay so energy balance between the two compression we get the value of h3 and then following the h4 and we find out the power supplied to the compressor it is denoted as w or p that is w or p is equal to first is for compressor 1 that is a mass m1 in the compressor then change in the enthalpy h2 minus h1 plus work done in the second compressor that is m2 that is h4 minus h3 so for writing down the refrigerating effect and work done is so simple just return the mass and the change in the enthalpy that is higher enthalpy minus lower enthalpy then next is the cop of the system it is refrigerating effect upon work done by using the system we are increasing the cop so flash chamber is doing the increasing the refrigerating effect in the evaporator okay so by using this flash chamber we are just increasing this refrigerating effect so refrigerating effect is increased then work done of the system is increased okay so when we use the flash chamber we just supply the liquid in the evaporator so it's able to absorb the more heat okay and if we supply the vapor in the evaporator it's reduce the refrigerating effect okay that's why the flash chamber is used in the systems thank you for watching the video subscribe my channel for watch more video and share with your friend